All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and I uh, had a very good night's sleep last night. I, mean, I went to bed around 1 a.m. ish, right? Uh, you know, did a little, well, I wouldn't call it programming, but played around with the tower defense module. It's actually coming out pretty well. Um, you know, right out of the box, I mean, already it was worth the $25 or $60 I spent for it. Because right out of the box, it, come out, it comes with pretty much everything I need. So all I have to do is just, you know, change some stuff around. But like the actual like position, the UI and all that stuff, it's already done for me. So, you know, if I don't like the look, you know, I, I already have the UI and all that stuff too. But for the time being, you know, I'm just going to take it really slow, enjoy it. You know, it was also pretty cool because like, you know, I added uh, and the code and everything's well organized too. So like I added like, you know, like, well, I actually had to use copyright music. So that's why it's not in public, but it was pretty cool. Like. I, I, I downloaded like music from like old games I used to play that I really liked and then I put it in here it's like wow this is so cool <laughs> so pretty soon I'll have all my own shit so anyway this red box is not supposed to be here and I don't actually have anything here actually it was an empty tweet and it stayed empty oh wow people actually oh wow so some so people actually clicked it even though I didn't say anything all right so anyway I want to add, so I had to ask the guy who made them, uh, I just call it a mod, but a Unity asset, right? It's actually, it's technically an asset, but I'll just call it a mod because it's what everyone is. But anyway, the Unity mod, the guy who made this template, uh, I want to add attack, damage, well, damage, uh, armor, type, um, oh, attack range. Those are the three things I'm thinking of. There might be other stuff that I add. All right, I just wanted to be displayed here like it is in other games. So you know, he told and he told me exactly wh where to go to do it. So uh, yeah, and of course, you know, as you already know, I've been trying to teach myself programming. Wow, it's May fifth. Uh, happy Cinco de Mayo for anyone that even celebrates that. It's such another day for me, like for me. Wow, I've actually been at this programming thing for like three and a half to four months now. So wow, yeah. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. So uh, yeah, already I'm liking this. And then once I'm ready to start another project, I'll still try to maintain the tower defense game, of course. Uh, I'll buy this other guy's asset. Um, it's not from the same author, even though he's actually pretty good, but this other asset is actually better because not only does he, um, it's not this one, but it's, uh, it updates more, but he's adding more features as like randomized shit. So it's actually gonna be like, a kind of like isometric version of bit heroes but in more 3d ish because at this point it's already just easier just to use 3d because I, I can rotate shit and i don't have to worry about anything else right um god uh oh man i'm gonna have to fire up uh, internet explorer and look at the thing that i favorited uh let's see let's see i have to save assets um Oh great! Now I have to sign in. What was it? Was I thought it was called Invectus or something? Let me see if I can find it. Invectus? No, it was Invector. Uh, Invector. Uh, stealth skill. At, no, this is the guy. No, this is the more complicated one. But maybe. What the hell is it called? I remember it was like a two D. Top down shoot. Okay, I know what I should type in. Top down shooter. Top down shooter kit. And it's not the Invector guy. This is this is the guy that made the tower defense thing, and then but doesn't have as many features. Uh, top down side. Maybe it's Polygon R guy actually. Sci-fi top down game template 2.0. I think this is the one. Uh, can you guys see this? Yes. Uh, yes, I think it's this one. So this is actually this is actually a three D. Oh God, this thing loads so slow. This is a three D game, but this is a set. So basically, it's basically Diablo, I guess. All right. If we have to really bring it bring it down, but sci-fi. But yeah, <clears throat> I envisioned a top-down two D game that's exactly like this. Problem is, it's because I needed 2D, like I'm getting all sorts of problems. Because like I just want to rotate the guy around, and that's causing like the hit part, the hit point bar is rotating with the guy. I spent eight hours trying to figure it out. It's just it just wouldn't work. 
And the problem is fundamentally it's because it's on a two, pure 2D plane. So I'd rather just do this shit and then just hope that modern day phones can kind of handle this. Um, I mean, even this shitty phone that I have, it's a LG Stylo 4, it's from like, like three, four, maybe five years ago. It can kind of still run Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. It still lags, but it still runs it. So, you know, I mean, this game, this game template is probably still going to be more intensive than that, but not too much more, right? Because I'm not going to go too crazy with the polygons. Uh, so yeah, and then this is what I use. And then he has all these cool features. He's constantly updating it. Look at that. Last time was April 16th of this year, so a couple weeks ago. So he's got uh, better prefat management. So basically, you see all these characters. These are all stored in something called a Unity prefab. Um, I don't know how to, <clears throat> I don't know how else to really describe it. So when you're creating objects, because everything in Unity is basically an object. Right, at least for now, they're going to something called data oriented. Something I forgot what dots stood for, but they're switching it to whatever. But basically, everything's a everything in Unity is a thing, but we call that thing an object. All right, so a prefab is a collection, I guess, of objects that you put together and it's already pre made, so you can copy and paste it very easily and it maintains all the stats and data and whatever that you put into that prefab so it's easy for copy and paste you'll notice when you play video games a lot of stuff just looks the same right the enemies look the same or it's a reskin that's all that's all that's all based on a based on a basic template or basic prefab and then they just change like the thing that you see a little bit right so it's it's not only is it easier for everyone uh but it's also actually better for the program too because um it, re it consumes a lot less resources because they'll just say, oh, it's the same thing as this, but just add a couple of these changes to this specific individual. And, and then that's it. You're done. All right. But, you know, if you had to manually create every single little item, yeah, that, that creates a lot of performance hits. So that's why you have a prefab. So, uh, so you made it easier, uh, third person camera. So I guess this is what this is ish. So that's actually really important because I, I don't want it to be a 3d game. Um, I like first person perspective. I want it to be top down. So I'm willing to compromise on 2d and go isometric. So this is exactly the point of view that I have. Um, he has a screenshot somewhere. Well, he had a screenshot where it was like top down. Um, like it was actually purely 2D or very close to that, but oh well, this is good enough. Uh, of course, you could see the grid too. The grid's pretty important. So let's see. So he's got a a beta version of a dungeon procedural generator. So you actually can create random dungeons. That's actually really cool. Because uh, they actually sell something like that separately, but the guy's building it into this, so that's just great. Oh man, he I didn't see this. He added vehicles. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because my game's going to have vehicles, and then it would be very easy for me to take the vehicle and turn to a ship. Because that's what I want. Yeah. See, so my so the game that I was originally working on, this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use this guy's template. So I mean, creating the actual thing from scratch. Uh, now using low-resolution pipeline, so that's performance improvement. That's good. Shader graph, shaders, okay. Um... W A S D old style moving aiming moving in the same direction all the time. Yeah, that's what I I, I, cr I actually created my game that I was working on before the tower defense. Yeah, I had I had the same thing too. So that's good. Melee while using weapons, push melee with while aiming with rifle. Okay, so you added melee, so that's good. So now yeah, this is this is I can't ask for much more. This is exactly what I need. Alright, because I was trying to need like things like Playmaker and all this other more flexible shit, but it was so hard. It was too flexible. Like if you can believe that. It was too flexible. I need something very specific, but flexible enough that I can make enough changes. So it's like I need the middle ground option as always. So it's gonna be pretty cool to eventually use this thing. Um I don't believe there is multiplayer here. Let's see. It has local multiplayer, so I don't know what that means, uh, but it's local, so I don't know. Maybe it could be modified. Maybe, maybe, I might be able to modify the local multiplayer and turn it into actual multiplayer, but, you know, uh, that's going to be a while away. But for now, everything's going to be focused on the tower defense stuff. So, yeah, a lot of cool shit coming down the pipeline. Um, and, 
Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's see. So I didn't do any research at all today because you know I woke up early around eight fifty a.m. refreshed, uh, and then I don't know, just had to do a bunch of. I don't know what was I doing this morning. I was doing my laundry. I had to kill a giant cockroach again yesterday, but luckily uh, I didn't freak out like I did the first time. So I guess I finally got a, used to it. But yeah, I took my fly swatter and then, you know, just like... Argh. Also, the roach was acting kind of weird. It was like leaning on one side. Like, it was acting kind of like what a dog does, like when they lift their leg up in the air. It was really weird. Well, of course, I saw this, but of course, I was slowly moving away in my push cart. So it would block me when I try to hit the damn roach. The giant ones, the one and a half inch, you know, freak things. Um, yeah, he was like, hey, something's not right. I think someone's trying to kill it. Yeah. But anyway, I was able to hit it. And then, you know, I obviously disinfected the area, cleaned it. Like, ugh, God. But it made me realize if I move to Florida and buy a house on the ground floor, I'm going to have to really worry about bugs and pests. I remember living in basements before. I always had that issue. The exception is my mom and dad's place because I actually lived in the basement, but they don't really have that many problems with bugs. So I'm trying to figure out why that is. So I think it has to do with the way the house and like with the seal all the cracks. So I think I might consider doing that because uh, I really don't want to deal with these pests. Like they, they freak me the hell out. Right? Because if that's the case, now I have to like store fly swatters all throughout my house in the basement so that like I always have access to like, you know, a, a bug killer because I, yeah, but yeah. Also, I wonder why I never thought of using the fly swatter instead of using like an actual towel and using my arm because that was really freaking me. I was like, hey, if this thing bites me, it has poison. You know, what if I like get mutated coronavirus, right? And it's the zombie apocalypse. So, like, you know, it was like really, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, have fly swatters all throughout your house to deal with pests. It's a lesson. All right, so anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for last week have been revised by Google, finally, and it's actually a whopping 16. So it was actually a lot higher last week than it was. So I'd be very interested to see what this week's data is going to be. Uh, Bitcoin itself has been doing okay. I remember yesterday I said I wasn't sure. Uh, I wound up buying Bitcoin because, like, I just don't want to deal with it. I have other things to do, so it's like, you know, I just don't care, right? Like, I'll care when it does crash, but, it, you know, history also says it goes back up almost immediately. So it's like, eh, whatever, you know, I'm just not going to bother with it. And I wound up buying enough uh, Bitcoin plus extra to more than cover the cost of the swaps, assuming Crex does not increase the swap fee when we go live. So, and then uh, Mitch, uh, Mitch is chugging along nicely. So, you know, uh, we should have the 404 coin swap ready. And of course, we'll do whatever. Uh, so anyway, Bitcoin's at 89.07, dominance is at 66%. This is very high, but it makes sense because Bitcoin's um, halving, uh, probably in less than a week now. 24-hour value is 153 billion with a B. Uh, Bitcoin halving. Bitcoin, yeah, I was looking for the thing here. Yeah, you'll notice I don't use anything weird with this. So it's halving in six and a half days, essentially. Okay. So next week, uh, Litecoin's at forty six sixty seven. Uh, Doggy Coin is three hundred seven point three million. So not too much. Uh, again, ignore the spark lines. They're just like there's something. Yeah, I don't know. Like they have to fix their spark lines. Hive is at forty one point thirty six cents. So it's good. So does that mean Steam went up too? Eighteen point twenty eight cents. So that's like eh. All right. Good enough. All right, so I already opened up this, and we're gonna actually take a look at that because this is the fundamental. Markets are back up, very good. Uh, Remmel has pretty much recovered a lot of yesterday's losses. All my other stocks are doing pretty well. You guys can just look real quick. Because uh, again, I have Remmel, AMZ, uh, AMZA, even though I wish I could dump that stock. Uh, RF, and then like 100 something. No, I have 37 shares or so of Microsoft. I really want a hundred, but it's just too it's just too expensive. Uh, and of course, I'm not making enough spare cash because obviously we fucking asshole coronavirus and the thirty five thousand dollar loss that I've already bitched and complained about. And well, you know, well, I'll get my money back from that because obviously Remmel's kicking ass. So 
they'll be fine. But going forward, uh, will I buy more Microsoft? I mean, technically I could, right? Because I know it's going to go up, right? But it's like, eh, eh, ah. Uh, I don't know. What, how much money could I actually make from covered calls? I know I've done this before off stream, but I guess we could take a look again. Options. Uh, let's see. May 8th, so that doesn't work count. Uh, the third Friday of June, so that should be June 19th. Uh, now, this would be one and a half months, so a call let's see that's a lot of time so i probably would do a 195 strike because microsoft's definitely going to hit 80 185 or even 190 in a month and a half so 195 is going to cost uh two what is this last bid ask okay so so for 100 shares of microsoft i can make 255 dollars right now $255, which would mean I would need to spend $18,158 to make $255 now. That is a 2% return. Yeah, you know, one, two. It's a 1.5% return. So if I sold call options every month, I would earn 1.5% a month on Microsoft stock. Because obviously I'm not counting this month because it's already over. So 1.5%. That's actually pretty good. 1.5% on Microsoft. And you multiply by 12 months. That's 18% a year. Um, yeah, it's 18% a year. And you get capital gains appreciation. right? Because this is actually a pretty nice. Uh, this is actually a pretty big uh, gap in the strike price. You're basically saying it's going to go up 14, $13, $14 in... It will not go up thirteen, fourteen dollars a share in about in about six, seven weeks. It's still plenty of time, but um, yeah, I don't know. But then we kind of know there's a bull run happening. So interesting. That's actually very interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, but again, the reason the problem is obviously there's a very high probability that you will get called on your options. So. You know, you, and then you'll be forced to sell Microsoft at 195, and then you lose your income-producing asset. Which again is why I actually like these things better. You can't buy options on them, but that's because it already is hyper-leveraged to give you the 20 to 30 percent extra. So I, and I, I just don't want, and I don't want to actually log into my stock market account every month either. As cool as it may seem, you know, after taking that $35,000 loss from fucking uh, MRRL. Um, I mean, I almost forgot the stock symbol now because I, I just simply curse out UBS <laughs> instead. Uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, obviously colored my perceptions a lot. Lyft offers new cheaper ride with more waiting time. Clark's has seen 500%. Yeah, I cannot buy disinfectant still. It's like so hard. Uh, luckily, one of the doctors said um, on Twitter, did say it, I retweeted him a while ago. Like, even if they don't have hand sanitizer, you can use soap, like ordinary soap. All right, just have to wash your hands longer. Uh, and yeah, if you look at the chemicals for like other soap, yeah, it's chemicals. So that should kill viruses and bacteria, provided you give it enough time to work its magic. So again, they say 20 seconds with soap. Restaurant CEO, 60% of restaurants could close due to coronavirus. Yes, and that's done on purpose. Um, let's see, uh, the, 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 the cost of reopening the economy. All right, I actually want to see because the globalists right now are doing like a 50-50, right? They want to really fuck over Trump, conservatives, and the middle class. Uh, but they know also they also know they're taking a lot of damage themselves, too. So they're trying to, like, hedge their bets here. Uh, go ahead, Bill. I gave a powerful answer in income. Uh, Bill Murray, Warren Buffett. I can't stand Warren Buffett, you know. Chip Crayer's sell index funds stay along these stuff. U.S. mortgage firms push for support borrowers uh, halt payments. Uh, mortgage firms facing millions of dollars missed in home loan pair continue to push the emergency guard support as data publishers show for a rise in borrowers asking to halt payments. Number of people. I really should read this, but I mean, I kind of already know what's going on, but all right, we'll read it. Jeff Basil says, tells him, you may want to take a seat as because why the company will spend. 
entirety of four billion dollar profit. Um, who wrote the story? Market Watch. Uh, I really don't. Want, uh, the only reason why is because obviously I just finished reading the Everything Store book, and uh, you know, but um, Jeff has always done this. Yeah, no, sort of our journey. Um, okay. Uh, it has prosperous service that go to how I shall refer to the cover is just so far as comparable global but so it's all got the road ahead actually I do want to know this because this is for important for me personally oh my god this is fucking why I hate all now everything's auto playing everything's spamming me and I have uh great I completely lost where the hell we were reading uh prospered shied away wrote ahead i know i was reading something here we go i wrote ahead basil says cost companies that survive this problem will face a company about the years they take such to assure safety we are supposed the essential workers serve has never been more critical from mine unless of course he's banning people we're not gonna let them down 25 bit but profit decline da, 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 da. company stock as i just want to know what is jeff doing Okay, so on Friday, the House Judiciary Committee asked Jeff to testify on April 23rd on a WSJ report that says Amazon is using used data to develop products to compete against sellers on its platform. Yeah, they've always done that. <clears throat> uh, shit lib leaders accused his deputies of perjury past congressional testimony. Uh, general re report with Kotrick testimony of Amazon at a House Antitrust Subcommittee last year. So what's interesting is they're going after Amazon, fine, that's good, but they're not going after Google, who actually clearly lied. Like, what the fuck? Or Facebook, for that matter. Bezos fortune, but you know what? I think the reason is because Google and Facebook are obviously, oh, touch your face, uh, without a tissue. But I think it's because they actually are in the pocket of everyone, especially the Democrats. So, and then Google, and after reading the Everything Store, it actually is. Yeah, Google and Microsoft and all of them, they're in competition with each other, but they're, but they're very, um, they're very respectfully antagonistic towards Amazon, if that even makes sense. They're very respectful of Amazon, but they don't like, I don't want to say they don't like them either, but they clearly clear, consider them a total threat. Which makes sense because Amazon literally does do everything. Uh, and Amazon and Amazon search actually is a thing. And Google fears that because it's like, holy shit, they're better at search than we are, and search is our core thing, you know. Basil Fortune has search by a uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, I'm not gonna okay, so he's not actually saying anything. Alright, so he's just got antitrust stuff, whatever. Really, the why some checks haven't arrived. I got my Trump bucks, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, PP rule makes it hard for some to use money. Uh, and then everyone's blah, blah, blah. GFC coins at 6 to 7. Looks like there's a lot of change, but I really am going to say 6 to 8. 4 4 coins finally loaded. It's actually 3 to 4, but it's really going to be 4 to 5 if you're willing to wait a little. There's been a lot of buying activity at 4, so sure people are taking the swap news uh well uh two by two coin is doing sh uh strong or we are doing very well getting a little stronger but this is about the right price 69 70 to 71 72 so pretty decent range cap coin is at 5,500 or 5,000 so pretty good uh no new changes there um warren buffett expects market doom that can take bitcoin down with it uh Fuck him. Tesla and Bitcoin more common than you think. Uh, yeah, he's pretty. Uh, Elon Musk is pretty pro uh, cryptocurrency. So, why am I cynically bullish about the Bitcoin halving? Uh, the the the, the producer on wow. <clears throat> Ant Meyer S nines are twenty three percent of the Bitcoin's hash rate. Yeah, you can never get these damn Ant Miners until like they're. Uh, producing the new ones then you have to buy the old shit but then you want the new ones anyway blockstream announces major upgrade and push to beam bitcoin from the cosmos top and will outperform the yeah i'm sure i'm sure ripple will outperform bitcoin yeah i'm sure they will i'm obviously being sarcastic in a mocking uh manner and i can't hit this x button
This is, this is a Google ad too. I can usually hit the X button on Google ads. Crypto Will says Bitcoin halving, giving false hope to get rich quick traders. Yeah, well, they get rich quick trading. So of course they're always going to lose their money. Uh, Bitcoin error suggesting. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, launching new broadcast blasting crypto. Yeah, so this far left shit lib establishment asshole Noriel Rubini really hates cryptocurrency. So, all right. So I guess you got the right wing boomers who I obviously don't like, but you also got left wing boomers too. So I guess that's what Noriel Rubini is trying to go for. If you can even believe that, which is fine by me. I don't care. Like either way, the boomers, you know, they completely screwed everything up. So I could care less what happens. That's why I still enjoy bashing gold and silver just to piss them off because I don't want them watching my shit. All right now, if they still have an open mind, then they're no longer the boomers. They're, you know, uh, what that website I can't even hint at anymore says uh, the grumblers. So it's, it, the grumblers should be the bo should be what the boomers should have been. You know, had they actually followed God, you know, had an open mind, an open heart, and all that stuff, and then innovated instead of completely screwing us over like his boomer. Uh, uh compatriots have done right you know but that's just how it goes mm. but you know uh god's wrath is already taken care of the boomers so i don't have to deal with it anymore uh best offer oh yeah so trump uh, nothing different i just want to see if there's anything different about coronavirus uh should i uh, before having traffic started which we soon it's never stopped which brew do we start some guards never stop. Uh, they built and fixed roads during long, no traffic periods. Also saved about. Oh, yeah, that's right. Construction of the roads is really. Now it's a great time to do it because there's no traffic. This is actually really smart. I'm actually going to retweet that. I didn't, even, I didn't even think of that. Well, until uh, launching our next, we should be investigating the origin of the virus. We should have other social demands regarding China, not Trump. Let's see. How long into China coronavirus origins? Oh wow. So I guess I guess China must be really funding the Democrats. So you got the Mexican drug cartels like um, I was gonna say La Raza, but that's the advocacy group, um, Sinaloa cartel, and then the one Los Zetos or whatever the hell it is nowadays. So you got them funding the Democrats because obviously open borders, right? Um, if there's no open borders, then they can't smuggle drugs as easily. Uh, and then you got China funding the Democrats, too. Technically, they fund the Republican Party as well. But um, I guess China does not fund the Republican Party enough. Uh, so actually, that could be the reason why the Republican Party in general is so hostile towards China. is because they're not getting enough money from China, if at all. Interesting. That's interesting. But that's because the Republican Party already gets its money from certain country that you cannot name or criticize. So that's, that's just how it goes. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see, 5.2. I'm just, just curious, what are the numbers on this? Uh, not a whole, I don't even see, see that's why I, I hate that they got rid of the replies, so now I can't see the ratio. Uh, Professor sure for instance, and I found a loan, has deployed 75 million. I still cannot get these masks, so I had to buy, like, a cloth masks. It's like, I think that's Kaylee McKinney. Bruce, when you... Yeah. She's so hot too, but she's already married, so she she's she she's uh, she's not available. Across the country, a paycheck provider, uh, well, a lot of the PPP uh, has provided over eight point three to Badger State smart businesses. Sure, uh, Chinese guys thrive through the manufacture of American products. It's how to bring those supply chains. Not President Trump's already laid the foundation. Uh, very our supply chain are sure we will strengthen strength both the U.S. and our national security. Hmm. Sure. I'm not going to retweet it, though, because, again, it's now entering uh, bash all Chinese people China thing. But this is actually a very good thing. So, uh, what you might call it. Um, this is, uh, this is actually what you should be doing. Uh, it's actually ridiculous that so much shit is just produced by China, and we're like, well, you know, what's going on? That's the other thing, too, is, um... Notice that the businesses and the politicians who actually did this and encouraged this, all of a sudden they're rendered blame, uh, blameless, right? That's oh, that's another reason why I'm getting kind of irritated is because, yeah, China bears a lot of the blame. 
but they didn't act alone. Somebody helped them, right? Happened to be a lot of American people and American politicians here in America. Why aren't they being held responsible for this shit? All right. So, you know, that's just how it goes. Uh, Derek Curry, uh, how do I say what Trump did? Watch. Uh, I'm not going to watch two minutes clip. Uh, but, you know, I do like Waters World, though. He's a, he, he's a good man. Amazing. Trump has the best volunteers going off big time. Uh, phone calls. Yeah. Kelly McKenney. Governor I know is the Jewish city. But, uh, sure you're responsive. Wow. So the shit lip governor of New Jersey who wanted it, who actually has a law passed, which is not being enforced, thankfully, to confiscate everyone's guns. Uh, and then uh, I read this yesterday, so okay, so not too much stuff here. Uh, let's see, what does Cuomo have? Um, I mean, we'll all still have to wear these stupid masks. Okay, so he has nothing new. Uh, I did retweet this yesterday, last night, or something. So I also live in New York City. We are three of seven. Uh, I don't know, at least 30, 30 contract worker tracers per 100K residents. I don't know what these numbers mean. Like these are way higher than 30. So I guess this is the total number of tracers we have, I guess. Uh, but yeah, yeah I'm just going to let you, I'm not going to, it's going to take a while to read this. But basically, but I also look at this and I think, my God. You could use this to justify a shutdown forever with all that kind of data metrics. Oh god, we have three. Uh, okay, we have three articles. Where are we at? Thirty-one. Oh, this is gonna be another big video. U.S. mortgage firms face. Goddamn. U.S. mortgage firms are facing billions of dollars in missed home loan re loan payments. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so this was expected. This is what commercial. This is what Tom Barrick and the commercial real estate people are complaining about. Uh, Pauls are reduced to 7.5% as April 26, 7% a week early as it kind of affects the novel. Okay, a surge of daily payments kind of leave mortgage service companies which pull home loans, sell them to investors. So basically, it's a CD. It's it's like what the the, the CDO thing of the 2008 crisis. That's because mortgage services still have to advance schedule payments to investors and borrowers fail to make their payments. Can't they just simply just pause the payments? Mortgage services want the Federal Reserve Treasury to increase the emergency liquidity facility to cover those payments. Mnuchin said last week there is no plans to offer such a lifeline. Uh, why are they doing it? We don't see it as a, a, a we don't see it as the end of the matter. We understand the Fed and Treasury will continue to monitor our situation. Could you have a facility so we can prepare for the worst and hope for the best? Uh, as part of last month's 2.3 trend, screw must allow strongly borrowers to postpone or pay the law. Uh, okay. Uh, so I could cap the number of mortgage payments. Must add, okay. The FHFA said last month it would cap the number of payments mortgage companies must advance to investors in some government backed mortgage bonds. Okay. However, a partner at Bulma, which, which represents the mortgage servicers that are advocating for relief, said there was a, still a serious danger of some firms going bust if a facility was not introduced. I don't think without federal government assistance, the picture is very positive for the basic regard. It could lead to another housing crisis. That is actually true because you don't want the because you don't want the CDO shit to blow up in everyone's faces. Uh, but if I didn't know any better, I'd say they were deliberately trying to tank these people. Services play a critical role in the mortgage finance ecosystem, raising payments from borrowers, passing them on to investors, tax stories, and insurers. Industry and regulatory services say that forbearance data for May and June could be a key to determine whether the Fed and Treasury intervene. Borrowers that use savings to make repayments April may struggle in May and June, they say. The level of job market should continue to worsen. This is why we expect it. Yeah, I have to admit, I am a little puzzled as to why they're not doing this. It sounds like you should help, though. Uh, this is an entire program of investors' demands will just have to be totally suspended. Yeah, just suspend the payments to. This is what I don't understand. Why can't they just suspend the payments to the investors? Like, if I were an investor holding this CDO shit, I would understand. It's like, yeah, everything's fine. Just delay the payment. I just, well, I just get the money next to like two, three months. You know, if I'm an investor doing buying crazy shit like this in the first place. I probably have other income streams anyway, so it's like just do your part, all right? You know, like I don't know. I guess maybe, I guess maybe that is why the Fed is refusing to create the facility to bail them out because they probably 
figure they could delay the payment but they just don't want to uh so we'll just have to see it's definitely something to keep an eye on though the cost of reopening economy and law because everyone's totally aware of 2008 and exactly what happened there and despite all that information the fed the federal government this time around i would actually trust them to make the right move they actually said we're monitoring a situation but you're not getting shit so and you know all the top money people in the white house with trump at the head they all know real estate so they know how it goes so if 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 it was the exact same situation and the exact same crew, but it was Barack Obama or someone like him in charge, then I would actually worry because Barack Obama doesn't know anything about money. Well, actually, then he, then his white, then his staff in the White House and the Fed will be surrounded by people who also don't know anything about money, but they think they do. That's why I would worry. Uh, but it's not the case here. So, cost of reopening economy and lives. So now we got fake news, terrorist, uh, fear mongering shit. So, uh, yeah. All right, so I'm not going to read this. I just want to see what the reactions are. Uh, so, uh, okay, so, okay, we got a lot of people. Jerry, her surgery was set up the day the virus cancel. It's uh, experience, she's not getting surgery. All the uh, well, way, just maybe you want to have a hobby thousand of her who already need it. Oh, wow, this is actually really good. Wow. So, because of coronavirus, his girlfriend could die from fucking cancer. Yeah, this guy's 100% correct. So yeah, reopen the fucking world. I would actually take the time to screenshot this. Uh, and then, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, God, I really should. Uh, all right, I took a screenshot. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to paste this real quick. This is actually really important because I didn't even think of this. So all those stupid fucks that are saying, you know, Phil, uh, Red Box, who are saying, it's selfish to reopen. Just, we need to save lives. Well, how about saving this fucking guy's girlfriend from fucking dying from cancer, you stupid fucking asshole? All right. So we're going to do that. Uh, all right. So we're going to tweet. Let's see. We must shut it all down to save lives. Uh, hmm. Actually, no. Let me think. How do I want to write this, right? Because I definitely want to include all that. Um, to the shut it all down crowd. To shut it all down crowd. To save lives. How about we reopen f this f fucking? How about we reopen this fucking country so so this guy's girlfriend who has cancer and needs life saving surgery doesn't die from fucking cancer. All right, what? God, this word is so hard to, sir. What? Oh, okay. All right, I'm getting tired of seeing this. Just add to dictionary. There we go. To, to the asshole. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. I've done my part, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Restaurant, Wendy's restaurant. Oh, man, I love Wendy's. I would eat there all the time if I could. It's like it's like the lower-priced version of Five Guys Burgers. I love it, and their fries are so good. And they don't actually put nearly as many crazy chemicals in their shit as other people do. Well, with the exception of the bun, of course, but I usually just don't eat the bun. Has taken burn off the man some okay grocery stores at Costco and Kroger have announced limited stocks of beef as Americans start to... Uh, yeah, well, the meat shortage is due to the uh, shutdown of the plants, but thanks to uh, Trump's uh, DPA Act, um, it should be, um, it should be actually be fine in a week or two, if not already. That's why I don't have to go back to Target for a couple of weeks, so I don't have to just deal with that shit. Because, yeah, I've been going to Target constantly, and not recently, of course, you know, because I gave up. It's like, yeah, I can't get the, I can't get that good and gather cheese and whatever 
pork or whatever sausage that is. It's like so good, low calorie, high protein. It's like it's like wow, amazing. It's only four eighty nine or four seventy nine. My mother died from coronavirus. She was not in good health and suffered depression. Her uh, her thing went down and locked out. Uh, and they prisoned her room for weeks on end trick and there was breakdown that put her in a hospital where she likely got the virus. There were no good solutions. To shut everything down is indefinitely is not a smart path. So even people who fucking assuming this guy's telling the truth. So people are realizing, hey, shutting it all down is fucking retarded. Thank God. Good. Good. That's what we want. So hopefully these pieces of shit, like this fucking asshole, Rick Newman, you know, I mean, he might be a nice guy. I don't know him personally, obviously, but like, this is really, this kind of shit is going to kill more people. All right. Reopen the fucking economy. All right. Just reopen everything. Yeah. People are good. People die all the time. Right. It's just a matter of how do you minimize that? Keep shutting everything down is going to get us all killed. And this, like, I didn't even think of this. All right. This guy, so again... He's probably telling the truth. It's how many people in America and the world have fucking cancer, right? And they can't get their cancer life-saving surgery or chemotherapy or whatever the hell you have to do, right? To fucking fight it off because of everything shut down. And cancer is obviously a really big problem. So you need to have access to this shit, right? And Elon Musk has also been very good about retweeting empty hospitals and hospital staff getting laid off. So what are you doing? You're deliberately trying to kill people, right? That's what this is about. And it's pissing me off. Oh, yeah. Touch my face again. Like, if you're really that paranoid, just go out with a fucking face mask, right? Like, you and I have these shitty face masks. You know? I mean, it'll take a while to buy one. But once we start reopening, you know, people will probably... I mean, at this point, people should already have plenty of masks. So, support. so you should be able to get some relatively quickly from Amazon. Relatively quickly, meaning, you know, one, two weeks. <laughs> Stock market news live. Okay, so this is the meat of the thing, but we're going way over, so it's 41 to 42 minutes. Stocks rose after a choppy session day early as investors weighed a plethora of. Da, da, da. Uh, topping, okay. Ba, 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 ba. Other states have already begun to reopen. All right, this is what we're. Here. So Georgia's already reopened. They did a lot of. Because Governor Kemp is a Republican, and he's like, uh, yeah, fuck the virus, just reopen everything, and people were giving him shit on Twitter. Florida and Texas offer a hope that loosening the economy would provide boost in economic activity. It's not just boost in economic activity. It's like so people don't fucking go crazy and die from other shit, right, because of the shutdown. Meanwhile, more signs of distress from some of the industry most exposed to coronavirus, but it was aimed at the criteria that emerged. Uh, Norwegian Cruise Line said it had substantial doubt about its ability to continue in the community. Uh, yeah, most people will not be taking cruises. And why are people taking cruises? It did private equity, uh, uh, J. Cruz parent company Chinos Holdings filed for bankruptcy, Chapter 11. Wow. Uh, interesting. Victoria's Secret is also a publicly traded company. Wow. Yeah. These guys were probably getting killed by Amazon, by the way. Because I was actually... Because actually, these sh the shirt that I'm wearing and a bunch of the shirts that I usually wear for the stream, right? I bought all of them from Amazon, believe it or not. I looked at the picture. I like the look of it. I know my size. It's like, yeah, men, medium. <laughs> That's it. I don't actually need to try it on. Back recipe. Uh, in fact, I think next time around, instead of going to Models to buy my sneakers, I'm actually just going to buy it off of Amazon. Because I know what I want. I want a um, all black colored sneakers, comfortable, good padding, cheap, of course. Uh, God, I keep touching my damn eyebrows without a tissue. Um, I already have New Balance and a couple other. Oh, that's a spider web. Oh God, that's so big. Ah, oh, where the hell are these spiders coming from? Um, and I want a US 13 size shoe. It's actually, my feet are actually like 11-ish, 11 and a half, but I like having the extra space so that I don't have like my toes, you know, cutting into each other, All right? So, uh, separately shares of each VS, rose Monday, wait, what? Shares of American, of airline companies rose after Monday's session law after Warren Buffett announced that he dumped, uh, has sold its entire about 10% previous stake in each of these carriers. Uh, 
There's nothing here. Hmm, Shake Shack. Oh, God. Shake Shack. Oh, Shake Shack's also really good, but they're very expensive. So that's why I would still prefer. Wendy's, Shake Shack, and Five Guys Burgers. That would literally be in heaven. I would just eat there all the time, right? Well, not all the time because I just have to watch my weight. But, you know, I would just have that all the time. Uh, up, down, profit, take, H, D, 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 I see. I know. I'm just here for all the expert advice. <laughs> He's being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> this guy was that, that was funny i hear from all the expert advice uh, da, da, da. okay so this article was surprisingly lean but i guess that's fine um all right I don't, i'll have to figure out what a tagline for this is but things are improving so that's all that matters god that's such a good kfc bucket thing see when i go to an actual kfc it never looks anything like this does right if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue uh, growing this channel. And then we are finally, uh, if you're new here, we've, I've been waiting for this for a year and a half, two years, ever since the 2018 2017 crash of you know the Bitcoin bubble. So it's been a long time coming, all right? Been doing videos pretty much every day since April 2018. I think, how long have I been doing this for? A year now? Two years? I, I can't even keep count, to be honest. I don't know. And I've been all over, like, the platforms, doing different accounts, blah, blah, blah. So it's been, uh, it's been quite a ride, but, you know, here we are. So anyway, the rest of your day or night. Uh, I've already bought my Bitcoin yesterday because uh, I'm saying I... Just want my Crex uh, swap coin fee for 404 coin and JMC coin already in the bag, which is now secured. Uh, unless, yeah, and Crex has generally been very friendly to independent developers, so they actually do not raise their prices like crazy like other exchanges do. And they're a very solid. Oh, shit. Wow, look at that. Someone is buying literally 29.13% of a Bitcoin's worth of 2 by 2 Like, this is insane. Wow. Okay, real, real real time check. Uh, the dumpers for 404 coin continue. Oh no! Oh, they actually ate up the four. Yeah. So right now everyone's going on a buying frenzy. So this is fantastic. Like just mo just just money flowing all over the place. Well, you hit, you heard it. You, you, you finally saw it here. So anyway, enjoy the bull run. Uh, if you need to buy crypto. I guess now is a good time to do it. I guess right because I already did it. But only if like you need to use it. Right. In my case, I do need to use it. Otherwise, I would. I already have my because uh, because already these prices are already pretty expensive, except for Litecoin. And even then, I already have more than enough Litecoin, I think. So you know, um, but again, uh, just to answer yesterday's specific problem, yes, I already I took my two thousand, I bought Bitcoin with it, so that I could uh, you know again do the coin swap. I did not use it for investing. So anything left over will probably be converted to Litecoin, and then I send it to the IRS account uh, designated address, and then, you know, um, you know, take the capital gains on it when hopefully Litecoin hits sixty grand or hundred grand during the this this ongoing bull runs peak. Once we get past this stupid coronavirus shit, I was gonna touch my face again. I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Get ready uh, for the bull run. Get ready uh, for the coin swap. Uh, we'll, I'm actually curious to see if the price will actually recover. Uh, you know, now that things are going back to normal. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, but this this thing about the cancer thing, right? This thing about the cancer thing. I completely did not think of this. There are so many people that need surgery, life-saving surgery, and they cannot get it. Not just cancer, but probably other shit that I don't even know about because obviously I'm not a doctor, right? This is a disproportionately affecting so many more people, and they're going to, like, this frustration is going to turn into anger. So, uh, yeah, so they better stop with the shutdown uh, hysteria, and, and they will, so. See you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my rants. Uh... Start rubbing your hands and start making money, I guess. Actually, just, just hold tight. All right? If you already have enough, then I probably... I mean, just do whatever you want. But um, I'm only... I don't want to be buying, right? Yesterday was an exception with the Bitcoin because I need more Bitcoin to do the swap. Uh, if it weren't for that, I would not have done what I, you know, been doing because I have... I have plenty of Litecoin, so... And I continue to mine more. 
See you all tomorrow. Thanks. Just Johnson Chan, JMC coin, 404 coin. Uh, I mean, I don't even know what my thumbnail is going to be. Because uh, I, I don't even know what the title is going to be. Uh, what, what do we have over here? I don't know. I guess we'll just do this. This is, this is pretty nice.